Race is actually a social construct. The concept of race is not a biblical concept. Vody Bauckham, black man, black Christian preacher man is about to tell us what race actually is. Race is actually a social construct. The concept of race is not a biblical concept. You won't find the idea of races in the Bible unless you find it in the proper historical context where we see, number one, that we are all the race of Adam. From a biochemistry perspective, we're all actually the same color. Our color comes from our melanin. We've all got melanin just to differing degrees, just different shades of the same color. Some of us just have more melanin than others, and I want you to hit, listen to me on this. Listen to me. Just because you don't have as much melanin as I do, don't you dare think God doesn't love you as much as he loves me because he gave me more. Come on, preach it, right? That's what we need to hear. We're all the same color. And I remember hearing this from Answers in Genesis. I believe it was Ken Ham. And he was saying, we're all the same color, just different shades of the same color. You and I are the same color, just different shades of that same color. And yet now we categorize people and we say this and we say that, but we're all from the same people. We're all from Adam and Eve. And he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth. All of us come from one person, right? All of us come and we all have different shades of different color because our ancestors moved to different places and came together with their spouses and had children and all that good stuff. All of us are the same color, just different shades. And God loves us. Jesus poured out his blood for you and for me, for all the nations. And there's people out there right now who call themselves I don't know, it's the black Israelites or whatever it may be. And they believe that Jesus just died for the black man and the Indian and like certain races of people. And like, it's nonsense. It's crazy because Jesus Christ so loved humanity, creation, mankind, that he was willing to go to the cross to pay for us with his own blood, to redeem the seed of Adam, to redeem us who came into this world under the fall because of our ancestors' sins. We now enter into this fallen state. But here's the thing, we don't pay for the sins of our forefathers. We don't pay for the sins of our ancestors. All of us are going to stand before God and have to answer for our own sin. And right now, there is such a deep pride in so many people like the atheist and the agnostic and others. Such a deep pride because they do not want to admit that they need a savior. They don't want to admit that they need God in their life. They don't want to admit that they've done wrong. And because of their pride, they are barring themselves from eternal redemption and eternal life. They're barring themselves from what God wants to do in our lives. Guys, I want you to understand something. All I know, y'all, is that there is some lies being propagated because the enemy loves to divide. He loves to divide and conquer. He wants people to bicker amongst themselves, to fight against each other, and to really harm each other because he can sit back and relax and he doesn't have to use as many demons because the people are fighting each other and killing each other. So don't fall into the trap of this whole race thing, turn to Jesus, man. Like, wake up, people out there watching this in the world. Turn off your TV. Maybe you got to turn off YouTube and start to open up your Bible and start to get on your knees and pray to God with your whole heart. Begin to seek his face and say, Jesus, I need you. I need to get out of this whole race trap and the division that this world is trying to get me to participate in, man. Go to him and trust in the living God because he cares about you. God bless you.